feelings? Yeah, I'm a pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. What are your feelings about Problems. the Lost Boys sequels? Oh, uh, I think there shouldn't have been no sequels. Although I did watch them. Um, well, the first one was Surfers, right? They, they did the surfing thing never on seen the beach. The and then the third one was the Frog Brothers, more like around them reuniting or something like that, um, and going off. Uh, no, they were they were I, they were sad. They were sad. I watched them once um, because big Lost Boys fan. Um, I mean, I'd probably watch them again on a Sunday afternoon if I was hungover and had nothing to do. If I was feeling like crap and I couldn't reach the remote, I'd watch them again. Were on, yeah. But um, yeah, I, I mean, they, they didn't they didn't do the Lost Boys any justice. It's just, it's just, I think it was a way to give Corey Feldman some work and stuff. I think he was in both. Like, it, it was tough. They were tough. They were tough. If you're really like huge Lost Boys fan, to, to see that kind of water down and water down is but i mean sometimes you just can't recreate or something that was just awesome once you know everything falls into places i you. mean it's like trying to recreate i like can you really recreate that whole brood entrance i mean i compare yeah. that to the lost boys right lost boys was like this moment in time it was a just fell in there it was it, it, it wasn't even a big box office hit it, it became a hit after the fact right i don't believe it, it was, was even sleeper. yeah and it creeped up but um but it's just all the actors, Kiefer Sutherland, they're all just uh, the star, uh, the, the girl, and everything was just perfect for that part. Every everybody's character, even the the, the head vampire and the mom. The mom, I love the mom from the Lost Boys because every movie she's in, I love her, and even Footloose, like she plays a mom in Footloose, you know. Which I got heat for watching Footloose the other day. Susan came in, she goes, "Really." Yeah, I'm Kevin Bacon guy. I, I like some Kevin, Kevin Bacon. Bacon. I like some degrees, Kevin Bacon. Right? And I like some. Fo- you gotta cut loose. Footloose. Oh, there's the TikTok dance. Right there. <laughs> Sunday shoes. Please, Louise. There you go. So you have to sing. Wow. All right. Yeah. So no, I didn't like him, dude. Uh, uh, who was that? Who asked that? Rick. Uh, Rick, Rick. Rick Michaels. That sounds like a wrestling name. Rick Michaels. With an R I K too. Ah, Rick Michaels. I th- I know a Rick Michaels. I think I know a Rick Michaels. Do somewhere. you? Well, I'm pretty sure there was Randy Michaels and there's Sean Michaels and then there's. Rick Mondo Michael. McMichaels, uh, that's Mac Michaels. Uh, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> but um, no, I didn't like him. Unfortunately, I did watch him, and and I got through him, and and uh, and uh, but they they didn't rank very high on my 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 list. Um, no. Well, I know we talk about the movie, but one thing I think we neglected to talk about is how incredible the soundtrack is. Uh, <laughs> Cry Little Sister is a yeah. bop. Yeah, the seasons after remix. You ever you ever hear their version? I've of heard it? of remix. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's yeah. The, how it opens up coming over the water. Yeah, it's, it's, Is, it, does it start with, with people are strange? Uh, yeah, no, no, no. It opens up with Cry Little Sister, okay. but then in the movie with people are strange that when they're going through and you see the girl, the snake, and the mohawk and the things when they're when they're coming into town, they're driving into town. So, I think there is the first scene where they it's the carnival. Uh, they go over the water and then they they um. The the kids are stealing the the the, the gang kind of guys or whatever the weird uh, mean kids or whatever they are they're stealing the, the comic books out of the, the the head vampire store or whatever and then they're out there in the car making out and bo- they whatever they kill them then they fly over the water cry little sister then then they're coming into town and then people are strange you know, yeah as they're coming I into love the new you town like, no you know? wait <laughs> real quick I, have we asked Raymond if he's watched the Lost Boys. He has not. I can guarantee you he has not watched a lot. Of You've seen oh, it? Oh, he's seen it. He's seen it? I was like eight when I saw okay. it. Okay. <laughs> hey, he saw it, though. Okay. Not by choice, but yeah. Not by choice. Drink from the cup. Drink from the bottom. Come on, Michael. All right. Oh, Are we ready for the next one? It's a blood-sucking vampire. It's so Death good. by stereo. It's not scary. I wouldn't um, you well, scary. As a kid, I don't... I mean, I was scared when they're hanging on the railroad tracks and they dropped and they're like, 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 you had to let go. I was feeling this anxiety, like, to let go. The railroad <laughs> like, tracks? I don't know. Um, but his brother, when he's floating up, and the nuke, the dog, when he comes, a dog biting him was scary. But, yeah. You need to revisit it. <laughs> revisit you, it. T-Rex, your dog. Well, Rex is meaner looking than anything that can was in that movie. It's scarier than Rex is such a baby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shout out to Raymond Stogrex. 